Live from the north side of Chicago, Wrigley Field, we've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. And now, your All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, ready to go here. Here's Mookie Betts. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Bounce to the left side. Swanson sends it to first. And Betts is gone. Shohei Otani up to the dish. One out, base is empty. And strike two. One, two. The wind of the pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. One down, base is empty. Backed two, off two. the plate that time. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Kicks and fires. Still 2 and 2 after the foul ball. Right hander kicks, deals. Towards first foul and foul ball. Kicks and deals. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And okay. another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now at the plate, Freddie Freeman. Got him swinging. So up now for Chicago, Ian Hatt. The line of the pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. Three two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. And now, Seiya Suzuki. Half aboard here at first with nobody out. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Flips it from the ground. That's one. Back to first, and that is a double play. That is good. The third field. Cody. Here's Cody Bellinger. and a miss struck him out and it's a three up three down inning new inning getting started and up to the plate is will smith will smith the two on and that one fouled off the pitch Inside three and two the count. Ripped it third and caught. And now it's Max Muncy. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third. But with that like 
reflexes down there in the hot corner to bring it down. One down, base is empty. Got the bat going too soon and strike two. Bounced up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it and they don't get an out on the play. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And another ball. Second inning here, no score. Check swing, no appeal, and the count is three and one. That one the other way. And that's a fair ball. Muncy, round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board that first. Was, was, you put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Goes down looking. Here's Jason Hayward. Two outs. Bounce to third. In time to push. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Bottom of the second. And now the DH, Christopher Morell. The 1 1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Dansby Swanson stands in. And he deals. On the ground. Throw on to Freeman. Two up, two down. And up next for Chicago, Michael Bush. The Bush fights that one away still one and two the Dodgers up by a run bottom half of inning number two and they'll do it again he hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. Ground ball the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Just kept it simple. Played power with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. There's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Nico Horner. The pitch. There's a swing and a try. Hayward going back. to third with a triple. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Here's Nick Madrigal. Corner on third with two out. And there's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Here at the friendly confines. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. 
and a pitch. In the air, left field. Hat moving under it. Makes the grab, one down. And now it's Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable because he has the ability to get the barrel. High fly ball near the pole. That one is power. One down, base is empty. That one missed. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch account. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And him out front for strike three. Here's Shohei Otani. Tied up here in the early going. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Just no, off the, the outside edge. Two and two. Two ball. Two strike. Our grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that keeps the inning alive. Now back at the first base. Here He's comes ready. Freddie Freeman up to hit. The 1 1. Shohei on the go. Come back into the mound. Slings to first. And that'll do it. Letting them know what the back is about. That's why they freeload us all when their hands was out. Hope you do it in the street where it's at. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the veteran catcher, Jan Gomes. Jan. Go. The pitch. And that skips in the dirt. You know, these Cubs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Lined in the left center, base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. Now You're so much more likely, likely to get something you can yeah. get. Just a solid swing yeah. right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. In half, up to hit. Oh. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now it's going to be Seiya Suzuki. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Now two out. Bellinger up to hit. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. Here in the last half of the third. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and one. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. And the right hater deals. Good job to fight that one off. Left hand hitter waits. Full count. Gomes off the first with two away. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Caught oh, just shy of the wall. Here at Wrigley Field, the batter now will be Will Smith. A wide to kick the pitch. And it is two and one. 
you know these Dodgers doing a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient ah. bats out of it. He's only given up one <laughs> run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Bellinger makes the catch and there's one down. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. <laughs> Just off the outside part of the plate. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. One gone runner at first. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Routed to third, could be two. Quickly to That's second for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Back here in Wrigley Field, and here is Christopher Morell. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And a one-two again. Ball two. Got him looking for the K. Now Dansby Swanson, the next cut to hit. Swanson from the first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. The shortstop takes the ball. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Touch them all, and the Cubs have the lead now. It's 2 1. So, digging in, Michael Bush. And here comes. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, drifts towards it, snags it for the second out. And next for the Cubs, Nico Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And that one finds its way through. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Now the third baseman, now the third baseman Nick Madrigal. Madrigal. Throw over to first. Corner back in on a dive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And we're back. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul straight back. Whoa. The next offering misses. And it's to a two. Whoa. And there's a ball. Out. Righty to the plate. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right-hander kicks deals. And there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. The 1-1. And a swing and a miss. 
Batista-Hicks may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Hernandez gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Yes, it misses. It's a strikeout. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs. Drew Smiley. Still a lot of game left, and this game can go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And now it's Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Couldn't have timed it up now any that, better that. than that. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball go deep. Here's Mookie now. Two on, one out. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Save! Save! Singles back to back. Tied runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him in any inning. So now here's the DH Shohei Otani. Swing a high fly ball deep left field. That's back. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. He circles the bases, and now they're out in front. It's 5 2. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, number 43. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Here's a 1-1. And that one fouled off. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Freeman hits it in the air. Corner puts it away for the out, and there's two away. Now bad, bad. next to hit, Will that's Smith. Bad. No, that's a Will. tough play for the infielder, ranging <laughs> back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, "Hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off." But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. To first, an and they get the out on Smith. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. Here at the friendly confines, bottom of the inning. Here's Jan Gomes. And there's a base hit to right field. The left field. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Hatt. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-4. Seiya Suzuki, the next cup to hit. Just missed. It can be tough to bounce back after a good home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The line of the pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted at first base with a good one. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. 
And the pitch. Ball three. Good to off that pitch Ooh, down. Left hand batter waits. Oh, Got three. him. Now one away. So now it's the four hole hitter, Christopher Morrell. ground to the left and it's just foul that was close at the belt and fires that's the ball two ball two strikes ah. swing and a miss he struck him out no advance good job behind the dish the batter number seven Dansby Swanson, the next cup to hit. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The 1 1 is fouled off. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know, fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know, close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. The pitch. Ground ball left side. And that's just foul. Boogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. set for the top of the sixth. Now it's going to be Max Muncy. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that one hit to first. Takes it himself. One up, one down. So up next, James now, now, now. Outman. The Deceptive seven, slider right there. Stayed eight. in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out, out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Pitch Two misses. One. Two and one. Not a lot of people know this, but this isn't the only Wrigley Field in MLB history. You know, when the right. league expanded and added the Los Angeles Angels Two in 1961, ball. they played their first season at a stadium in L.A. called oh. Wrigley Field, which had been the home of the minor league team of the same name. Two outs, base is empty. Now Teoscar Hernandez That's steps yeah, to the yeah. plate for the Dodgers. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Ground ball up the middle. Swanson gets it to first. Ow. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Gus Barlow. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs. You want to just pass and pass and and now the first baseman, Michael Bush. The first baseman. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a miss. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And another ball. Two two. And that's in the dirt. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The line of the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's off the wall. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Stepping yep. in, Nico Horner. 
Swings one through two. that one for strike two. Swing and a miss struck him out. So digging in, Nick Madrigal. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Next pitch, not close, up high. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Look out. That ball is smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the line. It's just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Man at second. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hernandez ranging after it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but compared to like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Go. Back to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map. Mark Leiter, Jr. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Kicks and deals. No. On the ground, right side. Horner over to first. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. And now here is Mookie Betts. Warning track. And you can touch them all, baseball man. A massive home run. It's 6 4. Base is empty with two away. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One, a big two. swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And now it's one and two. And that skips in the dirt. That's a little bit low. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three and two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Foul, we'll see another payoff pitch. Two down, nobody on. 
Bows it back with two strikes. Well, having such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a battle. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Oh, Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Alex Vesia. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Leading off, Leading Ian Hatt. No left field. Ian Hatt. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now back, right fielder. So up now for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. That misses. Now two balls and a strike. The tying run at the plate. That one finds the zone. And now two to two. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Got him swinging. One down. There comes Cody Bellinger. You have to be careful going on ranking pitches, even in an early game. He loves going after the off speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Tying run at the plate. Fall off foul. Two, two. In the dirt. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Half into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. And now the lefty spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And it's filled up. Looking to get something going. Okay. This is the guy you want to play. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Joe Kelly gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different. So we'll see what he's got here. And next is the designated hitter, Christopher Morell. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Chases that one. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Yenzi Almonte. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Line drive, and there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now back. Will. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Will Smith.
The pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Freeman gets his lead at first with nobody out. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the pitch. Roll to short. Could be two. Swanson to second. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Here comes Max Muncy. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out front. Rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Here's a 1-1. And a foul ball. And the right hander deals. And another ball. No, he's really working him away. This at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Axe and misses. It's a strikeout. Man at first. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now here is Dansby Swanson. And here it comes. The shortstop takes the ball. That missed inside. And now it's three and two. Stays alive. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Right handed reliever, and that's, that's too ball. high. Take ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now, now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Tying run at the plate. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. What Trying to got? check his swing. Appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. 2-2 Two -two on the way. That's okay. down and in. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And that's, that's ball, ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team pull over. And up next for Chicago, Nico Horner. So the tying run at second. Next pitch in for a strike. Now one and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball. Speed him up and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Quick feed to second for one. Relay to first. Double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there. And his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. They hand the ball over to a new arm. Evan Phillips. And he may only have to face one batter in this spot. At least that's what they're hoping as he tries to strand that runner at third. Big spot here. Nick Madrigal, the next cup to hit. The 1-1. One -one. And a curve misses outside. Two ball, one strike. And fouled off. With the tying run at the plate, near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. Just okay. missed. That's a really good take. And that one is lifted in the air. Hernandez under it. And that is the third out of the inning. Let's go. 
from that city you heard about. When you hit up, then the word's out. Your time is up, this your third out. Plus, we got hitters on deck. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jose Quas. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Right-hander kicks, deals. No. And that one missing low. And he walked Walk him. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So, man aboard. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, one ball. fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your oh. cap on that pick. And that's outside. Now two and two. Ball. And another ball. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Oh, the high knee past him. That's a strikeout. And at first, and now Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. Outside. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. That ball one three. close, ruled a ball. Three and one. Ball. Chris one with that strike. distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great ah. spot for a hitter to be in. Look Hernandez, out. the base runner at first with one out. Pickoff throw, and yeah, he's back in safely. And he deals. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And a pitch. And they'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And ball four to a board. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. Here's Mookie now. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Good job to fight that one off. Two on, one out. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. So now the DH spot, Shohei Otani. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Left-hand batter waits. Ball down. Just missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That's ah. in there. It's 2-2. Two two. First and second, two down. Here at the top of the ninth. On the ground, a third. Magical. They take the force out, and that is that. Look at me. Here at Wrigley Field, we head to the bottom of the ninth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jan Gomes. Go. Yad Gomes waits. 
And a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Ian Hatt, the next cup to hit. Righty delivers. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. At the belt and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hernandez makes the grab for the second out. And next for the Cubs, Seiya Suzuki. Ball to strike, the pitch. Swings through that one. One, two. The Cubs down to their final strike. Hit to right, and that should do it. Calls it in, and that's the ball game. Well, someone from the bullpen had to come in, get a big out, and then had a little time to think about it before he went back out to get the final three outs of this ball game. Nonetheless, outstanding job to get the save and secure the win.